back. And he brings it all the way back. Left back. Jesse Lindquist open, coming across the middle. He breaks two tackles for the touchdown. To the 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 Will have it wide open. I'm not exactly sure. Side line, and he's going to go. Touchdown, third play, offensive play. And welcome to Dave Hughes Stadium here on a crisp fall evening for the MIAA Division IV South quarterfinal as the sixth seed Nauset Regional High School Warriors take on the number three seed, your hometown Hopkinton Hillers. In addition to this being a playoff game, we are also here celebrating our seniors. We would like to take a moment to acknowledge the seniors of the Hopkinton High School cheerleading and football team. First for the cheerleaders, Captain Lizzie Carp with parents Kelly and Brian and sister Emily. Next, Captain Katie Abbott with parents Janine, Mark, and Spencer, and brother Spencer, and sister Megan. Next, Cassie Rizzo with mom Amy and grandfather Bob. Next, Abby Furlong with parents Jody and Steve and sister Sarah. And next, Benny Bazi with Deb Daly. And now for the seniors of the Hiller football team. Starting with twin brothers Matt Brown and Captain Ryan Brown, escorted by their parents Melissa, Bob, and their sister Abby. Next, Noah Buentello, escorted by parents Darcy and Dan, and siblings Gabby and Josh. Next, Captain Theo Cavallo, escorted by his parents Peg and Ed. Next, Captain Luke DeLoya, escorted by his parents Jill and Matt, and siblings Nick and Cam, who's celebrating her birthday today. Next, Tyler Doherty, escorted by his parents Kendra and Ken, with siblings Chase, Brooke, and Mary Kate. Next, Zach Frank, escorted by his parents Courtney and Steve and grandfather Art. Next, Brian Hurley, escorted by his parents Beth and John. Next, Kieran Hur, escorted by his parents Mary and Brian and siblings Declan and Sinead. Next, Ryan Kelleher, escorted by his parents Mary Ellen and Neil and brother Jake. Next, Brendan Kelly, escorted by his parents Brenda and Brian. Next, Christian McDonald, escorted by his parents Sharon and Dick. Next, Lucas Moynihan, escorted by his parents, Pam and Mike. Next, Drew Nealon, escorted by his parents, Lynn and Christian and sister, Eleanor. Next, Robbie Big Red Paluka, escorted by his parents, Ruth and Mike and brother, Scott.
And our next set of twin brothers, Ben Powers and Garrett Powers, escorted by their parents, Anne and John. Next, Ty Scanlon, escorted by his parents, Ellen and Colm, and sister Chelsea. It's also Ty's birthday today. Next, Kyle Stuckel, escorted by his parents, Lisa and Jim. And last, but certainly not least, Young Wang, escorted by his friends, Dan Logan and Mia Ardilla. Good evening, Hiller fans. Uh, tonight, your Hopkins and Hiller is taking on Nosset in the Division IV South quarterfinal in uh. the playoffs and we just had senior night and we will come back and talk about this in a little bit as we get into the game thank you good evening once again and welcome to dave hughes stadium here at chick welch field as the hillers take on the visiting nauset warriors a message from the miaa before we get started participating student athletes coaches and contest officials have worked diligently to prepare for tonight's competition please show your appreciation by demonstrating good sportsmanship and respect for all in attendance ensure that your behavior reflects the values that should be identified with these student athletes assume responsibility for your behavior and the behavior of those around you if you require assistance please call upon an miaa school or security official any verbal, written, or physical conduct related to race, gender, ethnicity, disability, sexual orientation, or religion shall not be tolerated, could result in violator ejection, and may result in penalties being assessed against your team. At this time, we would like to remember that our great nation has persevered through the leadership and sacrifices of men and women who have served or are currently serving in our armed forces. At this time, we would like to invite all of those veterans and current military personnel in attendance to please stand and be recognized for your service. Ladies and gentlemen, we would like to ask all those in attendance to please rise, remove your caps, and direct your attention to the north end zone as we listen to Elizabeth Kane honor our national anthem. Say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets regular the bombs were singing air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh who say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave awesome ladies and gentlemen give it up for elizabeth kane hey hillers let's get it tonight Good evening, Hoppington football fans. Tonight, your Hillers taking on Nosset and Division IV South quarterfinal here at Dave Hughes Stadium. Hi, I'm Rick Desina here with Don, Dandy Don Lehman. Don, playoff football, baby. Let's get it rolling. It's exciting stuff. We have uh, Nosset coming all the way up here from the Cape. They seem to, uh, to have a pretty good team themselves. Um, this is exciting stuff, Rick. You know, this was our first venture into going deep into the playoffs last year. Uh, you know, it's hard to know what to expect. We don't know these teams that come in here. Um, we can, you know, as we progress here, we'll talk about the scouting report on this team. But it's exciting stuff. It's a beautiful fall night. And, uh, you know, let's go. Let's get the win. Yeah, before we get started, a kudos out to sophomore Elizabeth Kane. Beautiful rendition of the national anthem as we get ready to go. Uh, Nosset comes in 
It's a it's a high school at the farthest end of the Cape. Yeah. It represents Brewster, Orleans, East Ham, Wellfleet, Truro, Provincetown. So it's got, out there. It's a long ways out. You almost got to wonder if these guys get hotels here yeah, when they well, come up here. I, mean, I don't know. Certainly only the uh, the parents uh, yeah. came to the game. It probably won't too many students. But anyway, as we as we get ready for this game, Don, uh, last time we were here was against Medfield. A convincing win uh, that put the Hillers at 3-3. Three and three. They've since gone on to play at Westwood. A 20 to nothing win there, pretty convincing. Mm -hmm. Sets him up at four and three, number three seed in the Division Four South section. Yeah, I mean, you know, you can't look too much past this game right now. They're playing the number six seed. You know, last <coughs> Rick, you were not in Holliston, so I, I saw them in Holliston. That was a tough. Uh, that was a tough game. They played well that game, um, but it just you know that Holliston made a few more plays than uh, than the Hillers did. And then last week, I guess they righted the ship down in Westwood. Um, with a with a very uh, very excellent win against Westwood, twenty to nothing. So it, it, it's going to be exciting to to see what happens here. I think Nosset. It sounds like they have an offense that can move the ball. They can throw it through the air, which is something we did not see last year coming in here in the playoffs. Uh, so we'll see what happens. Yeah, they they run a, a wide open spread led by talented quarterback Bobby Joy, number five in your program. They're led by second year head coach Bruce Strunk. A 146 and 57 record overall, 7 and 11 at Nauset. He has the Warriors program back on track at, with some very, very uh, talented athletes uh, down on the Cape. Yeah, I guess I guess he came up from Maryland. He, he was a Maryland. long time coach. Must be a retired. I'm retiring at the Cape, and his, you know, his wife said, "Get out and do something." So he's coaching Nauset. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> that. You know, bring up some talent uh, from the South and see what they can do on right, the Cape. Right. Right. So it looks like the Hillers will kick off to the Nauset Warriors. And it looks like maybe number nine, Riley Bent. And number five, Bobby Joy, the captain and the quarterback, deep for the kick. What is it? Are these guys Wolverines? They look like it the looks Michigan? like, no, they're the, they're the Warriors. Warriors? Okay. The Warriors. Um, it does look like, well, Westwood has this look too, but they are the Wolverines. So Brendan Kelly's ready to kick. And it's going to go to the goal. Oh, it bounces back in, but it does not get to the goal line. He has to pick it up. Good and he's going to be down somewhere inside the five-yard line. Oh, I think it's a safety. A, a critical could be mistake. A uh, he, was, he was certainly out of the end zone. Wow. That was a great kick by Kelly. Well, it took a, it took a right turn after it hit. It looked like it was going out of bounds, and it kicked right. Yeah, it uh, he looked like he was trying to drop it in there. I mean, Brendan, you know, we've talked about him plenty of times. He's been the kicker for three years here. Um, that was uh, that was an excellent, excellent special teams play to get the uh, Hillers started here. So it'll come out in the in the spread. It looks like we got a kid limping over here, number two. Robert Wright. I wonder if he's trying to set somebody up here with a little limp out coming out of the huddle, and he's straight up the middle with a run, and it's a tough run. And it looks like he picks up about six on the play out beyond the 10, or well, right at the 10. Yeah, they kind of uh, <coughs> they kind of just pounded it up the middle there. Um, looks like they have a little bit of size. Their offensive line is uh, came with some accolades, especially they've got one kid that's pretty tough both ways. I'll tune into him afterwards. The, the senior lineman, Bobby Freeman. There he is. What number is he? Uh, I have to look it up in the program, Don. They didn't give me a number. <laughs> Not a lot of, not, number 60. Number 60, Bob Freeman, the captain. And here's a throw, and it's complete out to about the 20-yard line. One thing that we want to note here, Rick, you know, last year when we watched the playoffs come in and it was Dartmouth and whoever else came in here, they did not throw the ball very well. This, um, this NASA team comes with an accomplished quarterback here that can apparently fling the ball. And it looked like it on that play. So that's going to be a challenge for the Hiller defense. Uh, we're going to need to apply some pressure early and um, and try and uh, try and take him off his game. So it's first and 10 at about the 21-yard line. And it's a handoff. And it's straight up the middle. And he's going to stretch it out for about three maybe. I can't see who the actual running back is, Don. If you got a number there. 
Number s looks like maybe number six. Ethan Still, maybe the running back. Yeah, I'm not sure, but their line looks like they have uh, some pretty good size there. And we don't have um, we don't have size on here. And if they're going to uh, if they're going to try and pass, it's a good thing to soften up the middle there with uh, some middle runs. But they they've moved the ball out <coughs> of the uh, the red zone here of their own end zone pretty quickly. And another handoff, and he breaks it, tries to get out to the outside, but not, no doing. It looks like number 20, Ty Scanlon on the tackle as he throws him to the ground. Well, we've got a uh, we've got a couple starters that have, are, are missing. We've got Drew Saparocious out. We've got Hamlet that's out. Zach Frank is out Zach as well. Zach Frank, Although who – He's not much of a defensive player. <coughs> well, he did play some defense early, but he's out also. So, you know, the Hillers – Hillers have a challenge in front of them here defensively, it looks like early with this team. So they have it spread with three to the left. They look like they're in a pistol formation. And it's a fake, and he's rolling. And he doesn't have much. He's got to get to the outside. He's going out of bounds. But he's going to be short of the first down by a couple of yards. So Joy not able to find whoever he was looking for. They were well covered. Fourth and about, we'll call it fourth and two. Looks like he uh, he moves pretty quickly. So uh, you know we're gonna have to account for that. He can. It sounds like he can throw the ball, but he can certainly move. Uh, did a nice job moving his hand, uh, transferring the ball to his left hand there, and uh, that's a big early stop by the Hillers after giving a first down. So he. Reluctant at the beginning to, because we were kind of moving into this at senior night tonight, where the Hiller faithful recognizes the seniors of both the cheerleading squad Jordan and the, the players. Captain, Bittersweet moment for yeah, yeah, that's always a tough. So for Joy senior parents kicks it and lets it roll and lets it roll. Looks like it's going to sit at about the. 33-yard line. Deloya tried to pick it up, but he had three uh, Warriors around him out at the 35-yard line. Yeah, you got to watch that there. I mean, that was a good punt. They were uh, clearly punting it away so that there was not going to be a return. Uh, Luke was, um, you know, taking his second base skills there and scooped that up. But, uh, you know, you, you got to be careful there as far as handling of the ball. Playoff games, you don't want any mistakes on the uh, special teams. You certainly don't want to have a turnover in your own end. No. no. But I'll tell you about Deloya, though. He has really – he stepped it up the second half of that Halston game when they came out. His physicality, he really kind of raised it. So we'll see what he's bringing tonight. So Brown back with Kelleher. Receivers either side. Deloya in motion comes in and sets. Brown straight up the middle and not a lot. Not a lot there, maybe two. There wasn't much of a push there by the offensive line. Um, I want to take a look and see where number 60 is lining up. Gee, 65 is a big yeah, boy, 65 too. was the guy that got him. He's, he's Six, a big boy. 65, Jackson Warren. He, he stuffed it up. Yeah, and, and that guy at the end there looks pretty big, too. What is that, number 13? Oddly enough, I don't see a number 12, 18. I see the a, guy left end. I see left 74, maybe? End. 74, stepping. Calendar? I think when we're searching for numbers, it makes us sound old. Right? Well, we, gotta start. Let's start. we need a spotter, and we need to be higher. <laughs> <laughs> and it's going to be a roll out. Oh, and, he, and he's going to get sacked. Kelleher tried to roll out, but it was disrupted by number, nah, I can't see, number four. Number four, number four uh, Will Van Vleck actually Broke it up, and then somebody come in, came in and cleaned it up. Yeah, they kind of had a run blitz there. I mean, it looks like a little – they were trying a little bit of uh, misdirection play action, and uh, Nossett just got some penetration there and blew that up right from the get-go. Yeah, they do have uh, pretty good size in this line. Interesting enough, though, I don't see number 60, Robert Freeman, the captain. Kelleher back to pass, third and about – 15. He's going deep to Brandon Kelly, and it's over his head. Brandon Kelly was had him by a half a step, and he's much taller, but overthrown. He's going to bring up fourth and about 15. Yeah, that was a pretty ball that um, that Kelleher threw there, but it was just a, a, a you know just a little bit long. It would have taken a perfect throw um, because Brendan was covered there on that play for the most part. So the junior Bobby Joy does it all. He punts. He returns punts. 
He was on the kickoff return. Does he punt also? <laughs> yeah, he was. Oh, yeah. well, you're going to have to file that away. Yeah. Because if he. Oh, it almost blocked. Kelly got it off nice. It was a low snap, but a good bounce. And it's going to stall it around the 34 yard line. All right, so it was a no call down there. I thought that uh, we might get a running into the kicker, but there was no call. It's, it's possible somebody might have got a piece of it. it they, were, they were pretty close. It was a low snap. So the uh, so is number sixty out there on the offense? I haven't I haven't seen him. We, I don't know if he's the, he's the captain. I don't know if he's the guy. Well, what was it? What was his name? They mentioned him. Bobby, yeah, Bobby, Bobby Friedman. Bobby Friedman. Uh, oh, he has Friedman, but it's Freeman. So I don't know where he is. Is he number sixty? He says number sixty, but okay. So he's in the I formation, and he. Or pistol formation and hands off of almost maybe a yard, maybe two. Uh, ben Powers did a nice job coming down the line there and uh, and making that tackle. So it brings up, hey, give him one, second and nine with 5.57 to go in the first quarter. You know, they came as, uh, as advertised as a team that can throw and is not hesitant to go over the top here. So, you know, they're kind of trying to pound it away in between the tackles. You've got to be aware here. Doesn't look like we're pay playing any uh, type of deep safety uh, situation here. So. Well, it's, it's hard when you get the spread. Yeah, it's it's going to be – right. oh, he gets away there. and he throws to a little outlet. Pass and reception there. That's going to be a warrior first down. Number – Oh, I, said, I thought it was number 13, but there is no 13 on the number roster. Maybe it's number 12. Her, with the tackle. her on the tackle, but I can't see who got the ball. Yeah, Brendan Kelly kind of uh, held his ground there, um, forced the quarterback out to, to turn around and roll right. He dumped it off. Her made a nice tackle, uh, but it was uh, after the first down, so Nossett's on the move. Yeah, brings up a first down at the Nossett 47 yard first line. Two receivers to the, to the right, and they're going to hand it off. And no doing. He gets back to the line of scrimmage by Brandon Kelly. You know, as the season has progressed, Kelly has become more physical on defense. He's made more plays, made his presence uh, a little bit more known as the uh, as the year's gone on. His, his play has improved. We've always kind of thought of him as a, a kicker, a punter. Um, you know, this year he's gotten more involved with the offense and defensively, this is the most uh, most action that he's uh, he's shown here. Oh, he's one of the bigger kids out there. He looks athletic. He yeah, he's certainly he's certainly athletic. Um, but he you know it just hasn't kind of all come together. But these last few games, he really has kind of kind of started to raise his game so at least like defensively. We, we have a timeout here on Nosset. We'll try to do this again here. Um, while we have a break in the action. We have to always recognize the people who do all the hard work here. John Rich and Denise and Taki upstairs. And I'd say it's probably about 35, 38 degrees right now tonight. It's, it's cold a chilly night. one. Yep. Uh, they do all the hard work. I didn't notice if Denise was wearing um, shorts because she does. Not tonight. Not okay. Tonight. And uh, we got Mr. Everything uh, producing and directing, Mike Terosian. And uh, he's doing a magnificent job over there in the corner with a lot of cameras and a microphone. Runs the show. He does run the show. Does a great job. I mean, H Cam is such a such a great great thing in Hopkinton. Yeah, it's a, and it's a lot of fun for us too. It is. <laughs> I enjoy it. So we have uh, second and ten, and he fakes the handoff, rolling. Joy's got a man that was open, but he overthrew him and led him into the sideline. It was number two, the intended target, Tate Seedwen. This uh, this quarterback, I think, is the. Um, it might be the best. Well, I don't know. I guess that kid from um, Norwood. Was it Norwood? Who would we? Uh, Needham. Needham. That kid from Needham well, was pretty good. Yeah, he was a pretty good player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the Holliston, the Holliston quarterback is pretty good, was pretty good, too. He threw a couple long passes on us. His, his um, name is Avernitis. I, I went over to actually watch the championship game, Tri-Valley Large, Holliston. Last and, uh, week. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Holliston wannabe, Don Lehman. Yeah, it was date night, Rick. It was date, it was night, date over night over in Holliston. It was Perfect. Date night. It was date night. Joy's back to pass, and he's he's got trouble. He's got there, trouble, man. and That's he's gonna it. get he's gonna get sacked, and he's dropped. He's dropped for about an eight-yard loss. Look, like Brown was the initial contact there. 
Yeah, you had Brown in there. You had Doherty in there. Um, ben Powers was making some noise. Uh, that was excellent penetration by the uh, the Hopkins defense. Looked like they wanted to apply pressure. And when you have a good quarterback, Rick, that's what you want to do is pressure them. Don't let them sit back there and make decisions. As they say, get them off the spot. Little ACDC to wake up the crowd a little bit. It's a, it's a playoff game, but not a, the, the weather might have something to do with the turnout on the, on well, the fan no side. There's no band here, so we don't know why there's no band here, but there's no band here. So so Joy is to kick, Deloya to Ooh. receive, and he kind of waited a long time yeah. to get that off, but Deloya's got it, and he turns left, and he's going to be out somewhere around the 39-yard line. Yeah, Luke fielded that cleanly. I, I thought we almost had a block there. Mulvaney... He was in there. Or I think it was Mulvaney. Yeah, it was a, the um, punter took a little. He kind of drifted to the right a little bit, and then. But we might be able to get that next time um, because he came in pretty cleanly. So at 3:09 yeah, in the first quarter, Hopkinton will take over at its own 39-yard line. So that first drive, let's see if we can put something together here because that first drive kind of didn't really go do much with it. Let's see what we can it's do gonna here. It's going to be Brown, and he cuts it up, and he gets a couple of yards, maybe three. Yeah, we'll call it four. Call it second and six as he cut up the middle and bounced to the out a little bit. That's some good hard running by, uh, by Ryan Brown there. Um, again, I don't see a big push with our line just yet, um, but we um, – we, uh, <coughs> uh, you know, Ryan, as usual, is running hard. So this guy coming up from the coach coming up from Maryland probably doesn't venture off the Cape that often, and it's uh, probably a little chilly out there for him. Oh. I, I, I want to. Oh, Kelleher takes keeper. it straight up the middle. He's going to get the first the down. down. Into warrior territory. Great run there. He runs it down to about the 49-yard line. Yeah, Kelleher, you know, that was a nice just fake there. He 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 faked it to Matt Brown and I was I was corrected and I was calling him Ryan Brown. There's twins, Ryan unfortunately is out. Yep. But uh, you know, uh, Kelleher can run the ball and he took that, it was a fake, and he took that right up. Took a hit there by it looked like the one of the linebackers coming over, but he popped right up and we're good to go and we're in uh, NASA territory. So first and ten at the forty nine yard line of the Warriors. Deloy has been on that wing and often coming back to set. Brown gets it to the outside, and he cuts it up and breaks through a few tackles. Still going. We'll call it nine yards on the carry. Yeah, we're close to the first down there, Rick. That was, uh, that was a very nice play there. You had Powers pulling out uh, to lead the way, and, um, and Brown just kind of grabbed that, and that was a, that's, a, that's a way to start a drive. You got second and short here. I don't know, Rick. What do you think? Take a take a take a, take a shot. Why take not? A shot. Yeah, because you're in four down territory here. You know why not? Let's go. Let's some, send somebody on a post. Let's send somebody on a on a hook and go. You know whatever. Let's take a shot at the end zone here. Well, Kelly's one on one out here. I'll Enjoy. take that. I'll take it. And Hoffington takes the timeout. Talk it over. I mean, you got you know you got plenty of options here. You're in a great situation offensively, um, you know, because you know even uh, even if you don't get this, you got two downs to to get a yard. Yeah, no, I mean you you, you want to make sure. Um, and you know, it might have been a, a pass to Kelly, you know, the way he was one on one, but they had somebody different on him. Yeah, when he he's got the size though, and he does have you know he's got hands, he can make that catch. So if he can, uh, you know, make that uh, that, one, right? that combat yeah, catch, Brown going right back to the same formation. Could have snapped that. That would have been off sides. And Keeper Kelleher the takes Keeper it up the middle, middle makes, a, makes a Ryan jump. Kelleher, Kelleher took a jump over the middle, and then he ended up at the – about a, a gain of about 12 yards on the Pop play. Gets it down to about the 28-yard line. You know, Ryan's running ability always gets kind of overlooked because he's such a, you know, a, an accomplished passer and a good passer, but he is good on his feet, and he's tough. He can take a hit, 
and uh, and he can he runs that read option very well. Well, he's got 37 carries, 127 yards, three point yard average coming in. And he he seems this year, uh, or at least the last three games, he's ran more than than I've seen him run the last two years. The lawyer comes in and sets two backs to either side. And Brown straight up the middle, and he got a big opening. Gets on the sideline, and he's going to be in for the touchdown. A 28-yard run at 19 seconds to go. Yeah, Matt Brown really read his blocks really well along the left side there. He uh, he kind of like uh, get it the old dipsy doodle, get a couple quick one move, and then he uh, took it outside here. Yeah, so at uh, 17 seconds. Powers. Pa I'm sorry, Rick. Right. Powers with another nice block, and Deloya on number 34 threw a nice block there too. So that's a, that's a great start for the Hillers. Kelly for the extra point. In fact, Luke is out with a shoulder injury, and it looks good. No, I guess not. It's wide right. Must have went right over the – so the kick is no good. As they come up field, the Hillers up 6 to nothing. Yeah, so Pagliuca is out with a shoulder injury. I don't know. Coach Gerard must be, you know, putting his kickers through the uh, <laughs> old bull, in the, old bull in the ring, the old bull in the ring uh, little, drill, little, little Oklahoma drill. Yeah, here. I don't know what's going on there, but uh, but you know, Brendan, uh, he stepped in the last couple of weeks and he has kicked well. So that's too bad he missed that. But you know, in any event, that's a good start. It's always good to get the first points on the board and kind of pressure the opponent, especially on the road. Uh, kind of apply the pressure here and see what they can do offensively. Well, we're going to see what uh, Nossett can do on this kickoff. In the opening kickoff, they let the ball drop, and it got into about the two-yard line before they picked it up and weren't able to get too far from there. So they had tough field position to start, so we'll see what happens here. I'll be interested to see. It almost looked like, you know, that first kick, it was planned to kick there, you know? Um, you know, I've seen Brendan kind of pooge kick and – you know, deep kick. It almost looked like he shot for the corner. Let's see if he does that here. Well, it looks like they might have switched. It looks like Ni Riley bent on our side of the field, and let's see if they do it again. And oh, they're, they're paying attention to where these guys are. They didn't want Joy to get it. Bent takes it up, across the field, up to the right, cuts up, and he gets up to about the 27-yard line. Great work there by the Hillers. Sorry to see who made that tackle. It could have been yeah, number 20. I think it was this kid right here. What is that number right there? 66? 86? 88. 88. 86. 88. Jake Sokol, the sophomore? I don't, is it Sokol? Jake okay. Sokol. It was eight, it's either 86 or 88. We have no 86. It's 88. Okay. Well, he came down there, made a nice stick, and uh, – and because he had a little, um, he had a little energy there that uh, kick returner. <laughs> so that was a nice, that was a nice tackle by Sokol. Joy so Joy throws it a little, little in, and he cuts up the field, Good. and he's going to get to about the 48-yard line. A little quick hitch. Well, this is what we're going to want to watch here: is if the Hillers can apply pressure to um, to to Joy, who's you know looks like a, a pretty good quarterback here. And also keep him, um, you know, keep him inside the tackle zone so he's not scrambling around. Looks like we have an injury to yeah, number two. Tate, Tate Seedwin, who caught that ball and turned up. He was limping the, since the beginning well, of the game. Was that who was limping and we broke the huddle? <laughs> Although when he was running upfield, he didn't look like fast. he was hurting, did yeah. he? <laughs> I try and throw people off like that, too. Yeah, like, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I limp when I get out of my car. And you're, and you're a little giddy up. That'll do, it for the, <laughs> that'll do it for the first quarter as the Hillers lead six to nothing. Hillers and we'll... We'll change Warriors sides of the field, but it'll only be a, a two-yard jaunt. That's the 48-yard line. So we've got uh, we've got Westwood playing um, Milton. Well, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Westwood playing Milton. Number seven playing number so two we, tonight. So we play the winner of that game. That is correct. And uh, and you know again, if Milton wins, we'll be on the road. And uh, if Hopkinton or if Westwood would win, we would host Westwood here. So. You know, that's why it's kind of tough here with the playoffs. That's why they had senior night tonight because really with Thanksgiving and Ashland, Rick, this could be the last home game. It, I, you yeah, know? Well, unless you're out of the playoffs because then you have two games. I guess it would give you one of those two. I, I don't know. It's hard to say. It's hard to say. 
The one thing they will do, though, is they generally keep the towns pretty close together. You, you won't have an away game down at Nauset. <laughs> Hopefully we're playing in that championship for the south sectional again. You know, I, I think that, you know, based on you know, the Hopkinton team here, we certainly uh, should be able to compete with anybody here. Tate, Tate Steedwin is back in, but he's limping again, and it's straight up the middle. Right up no the gain. Looked like the the, the official threw a, a bean bag, almost like it was a fumble. Yeah, he was just the trying referee. to mark. Yeah, he was marking the ball there, but that was uh, excellent penetration by the defense. You had Cavallo in there. You had uh, who's fifty nine? Was that Butello? Yeah. Um, Doherty's in, did a nice job. Doherty, who you know, Doherty's had a really nice season. Yeah, he has. He has. You know, he fires off the ball really well. He's very quick off the ball, which that is difficult for any lineman to handle. I don't care how big you are. If you can get off the ball fast, it's difficult for an offensive lineman to deal with. Well, second and ten, in the pistol formation with a back up front, quick pass, nice ball, nice pick. He picked it right out of the end. Nice catch. By number, number, 14 of the Warriors, number 14, Henry Blanchett on, on the catch on a, on a quick slant. Picked up about 12 on the play, Don. You see how he just he reached and grabbed it with his hands and was, tucked it in? That was an excellent play, uh, excellent pass, excellent route. Um, that receiver looks like he's got good hands. And, again, it's, it's obvious that this number five can throw the ball. And those two are going to be battery mates again next year. Joy to number Blanchard. two. Look, no, number two. Yeah, he, Look at him. <laughs> yeah, but when he gets the ball, he's either he, he seems to forget he's about an that. actor or what. I don't know what's going on, but he doesn't well, look like he can move. Oh, a fluttering pass that falls incomplete. Falls incomplete. It's like someone tripped on the play. That's not exactly sure what happened. Long. So it's no gain in the play. Second and ten. Nine forty-nine to go in the second quarter. We'll see uh, how um, Coach McLean plays the defense here. We we did see one blitz. Um, you know, I guess that, uh, you know, is it, we'll see what happens here. They put him in the third down, whether we apply some pressure. I don't know why this number two's on the field here, unless he's putting on an acting show. Wants to get back to pass. Oh, he's got it. No, it's too long. I don't know who he had it on along the sideline. I can't even see who's on the coverage. Is it 22? Did Brian Hurley? Her 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 yeah, I think it was Hurley because he was in there before, and he had excellent coverage. He was Great running right with him. All right, so that brings up third and 10 at the Hopkinton 38-yard line. I don't – unless they pick up something, Don, I, yeah, I don't know if this is four-down territory. I don't know, but this is uh, this is interesting. You got Kelly out here. looks like we're just running with uh, – you know, they're rotating defensively quite a bit, and it, maybe it's because they're going to throw a lot, and we want to be up fresh defensive lineman rushing the passer. He rolls right, and he's – a big rush by Doherty. Throws it oh, over the head of – uh, number number two, Seedwin was on the sideline, but it was too high. Doherty really chasing him down. Yeah, it that was, that was a good play action there by Nossett, but uh, Doherty got right by his guy and applied the pressure, and uh, quarterback wasn't able to set his feet. He kind of had to throw it on the run, and he just sailed it. So that's a big fourth, uh, big third down stop here, and I would think they would punt it and try and play the field position game. Well, this is your quarterback is the punter, and that's always an interesting combination. Well, you got to watch that. We've uh, we've seen fake punts in the past, so. And they're playing it more like a like a full linebacker is five yards off the line of scrimmage. It's a, a it's, week. Oh, it was oh, a week okay. snap. Oh, it's oh jeez, oh, get away. Yeah, he, that, I don't know what happened there, he but uh, <laughs> that, he must have just kicked just the top of the ball like the almost like it was an onside kick, and it, and it went about that far. <laughs> well, it was one of those punts. I mean, you'll see that nowadays, you know, where the punter will kind of roll out, and, 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 and he's got the option whether to run, pass, or kick. Looked like he tried to kick it. He just didn't kick it effectively. But, I mean, if they're going to play that game, um, I'm not even sure you want to drop Luke back. You know, you might want to. Yeah, just let it die. Yeah. Well, they had, they had, like I said, they had only f uh, five guys in the line of scrimmage, four linebackers in, the, in that zone. So Hopping takes over at the 27-yard line. First and 10, 9.25 to go. Kelleher's going to throw it, and he's got Salas. Salyard turns it upfield and gets a 12 on the play. Yeah, Cole just did a little out there. That was a great pass by Ryan right on the great numbers. Uh, Cole grabbed it and uh, turned it up for a first down. It's a great start. So that puts it at about the 39-yard line. 
Salyards has, uh, has, has been a, a nice contributor to this team. He's playing both sides of the ball as a sophomore, um, and that is not common. So uh, good for him, and uh, it's good to see it. Hey, Brown. The lawyer and her looks like he's kind of tight. And it's a Go fake drop back. Quarterback out. draw, and not a lot going. He's it's about two yards on the play. Yeah, that was a that was a designed run right off the bat, and there wasn't much there from the get go. Um, again, we have not seen number sixty, right? Am I no, I haven't. It? I haven't seen him out there. I don't know. You know, something something's up. Or I'm looking at that big kid. They had the big kid number seventy five. He doesn't. They handled him pretty well. Um, yeah, maybe it's possible he lost his jersey, forgot his jersey, and they gave that's another one. That's happened. That, they are we, kids. We, we know that happened. <laughs> yeah. I'm, and it's not like, I've lived it. And it's not like mom's going to run it down to the field uh, two <laughs> and a half from, hours away. Not from Nauset. <laughs> 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 and Brown up the middle, and he runs hard. And he's up, and he's tackled at about the 46-yard line. We'll bring up about third and three. You know, you're up six nothing here. Um, this is a this is a big down early in the game. This is a good chance to really kind of, you know, just kind of keep Nossin on their heels. Don't give them the ball back. You get a first down here. Next thing you know, you're across the fifty, and otherwise we don't get this. I don't I don't think you go for it on fourth down, Rick. I eh, mean, you never know. It's high school football. What the heck? I don't know. We'll see how close they get. That's why I'm up here, Don. <laughs> Nobody's asking us our opinion. Never have. Oh, sometimes Matt does. <laughs> oh, yeah? Matt does. The lawyer. Yeah, he asks me my opinion. He doesn't, but he doesn't care. He's just, he just, just trying to carry the conversation. It goes in one ear, not the other. I'm hoping he's going to take a timeout. I think that's their second timeout. Yeah, it is. And you might as well. Like I said, it's a, it's a, big, it's a big situation in the early in the game here. Um, you know, the, 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 the bigger the pressure you can put on, uh, on Noss, it, the better. Yeah, so as they run into play, we get third and about three, 7.19 to go in the second quarter. Brown to the left of Kelleher. And That's it, he, offsides. No. Just, snap that. Great job by the Hillers. Looks like they were so there's no chance of getting back? Offside. You can't get back? I thought you could get back. You could you could get back, but if the center sees that, he should just snap it. But, but it did, looks but like didn't. They, made, they made, they made, but they made contact. I think they made contact there. Down. So that's uh, that's an excellent job. The Hillers don't go on too very often. In fact, I I kind of point that out. I it, I think they should do it more often. But that was they called timeout. They said go on two. Excellent call by the coaching staff. And uh, now there's first down in Nasa territory. And I'm pretty sure Kelleher said to everybody, it's on two. It's do on not two. move. <laughs> he yells specifically at the line. At the line, yeah. Yeah, you know, yeah. It's, it's a, that's not right. <laughs> now, I'm just as smart as everybody else. That's true. That's true. Kelleher rolling right. Roll his right, and he throws deep to her, and it's just over his head. Nine, just Karen over Hurt. his head. Her down a – looked like a flag pattern getting to the sideline and just overthrew him. Yeah, Kelleher was pressured uh, kind of from the inside, and you had number four, the defensive end, applying pressure too. He threw it on the run, just a little bit too high for Kieran to grab. So that will bring up second and ten from the 49-yard line of the Nauset Warriors. The and field I, looks good here, Rick. Well, huh? I mean, it looks terrific. I mean, everybody's yard looks terrific, too. We've had plenty of rain. Yeah. It's dried out over the last couple of days, a little sunshine. Yeah, tomorrow's going to be a mess, though. Yeah. yeah, what a difference 12 hours would make if we were doing this uh, 12 hours later. Yeah, imagine if you were to have to watch a college football game tomorrow. Is that what you're going to do? <laughs> yeah, in, in, oh, yeah. In a, Monsoon, hurricane, in a baby. hurricane west uh, wind or whatever. Oh, yeah. Nice nor'easter. Kelleher's going to throw quick out here to Deloy. He's got it. And, there, there and he makes a little bit of a move, gets Deloitte. close to the 40-yard line. Going to have two yards short of the first down, bring up third and two. Well, that was good to see to get Luke involved in the offense a little bit. Got him the ball here on this little uh, this little out pass. Uh, he made a nice move, came up. He was kind of holding the ball like a loaf <laughs> of bread there for a second. <laughs> it was out there. <laughs> um, we don't like to see that, but uh, he held on, and, uh, you know, we got third and short. Third and short. Third and two from the 41 yard line. Gives it to Brown straight up, and he's got the first down and a few more. And he's going down around the 35 yard line. 
Great running by senior Matt Brown. Number 34 in the tackle, Miles Perry. Yeah, Matt, uh, Matt made a nice side, uh, did a nice job, just made one plant and then went up through the hole. Didn't, uh, didn't screw around there at all. That was an excellent hard run for a first down. So it brings up first and 10. 35-yard line of Nossett, 6.09 to go in the second. Nice little drive the Hillers have going. The lawyer sets next to Kelleher, and it's Brown in the crossing action. Nice spin move, almost gets out of there, but he's down. First down run down to about the 24-yard line. Yeah, the Hiller offensive line is getting their feet under them. You had 55 pulling, you had 74 pulling. Uh, Brown with a nice little spin move there, running hard as he always does. Um, yeah, this is um, this is a great way. Uh, this is a great way to uh, end this first half here. Well, I don't think it's going to take him 5:30 to get into the end zone from here. Nah, but, but they're <laughs> they're taking a big chunk out of it though. Kelleher drops the ball. It's a fumble on the play. Recovered by the Hillers at the 30-yard line. I'm not, I, yeah, did he just drop that? I don't I think so, yeah. That was a good snap. It looked like Ryan may have just looked up there at the last second. Um, they had penetration pretty quickly. Uh, but, yeah, he uh, he just did look up there and um, and, and uh, fumbled the ball. Looks like he might have been making a call. We got the replay here. So it was a... Uh, yeah, he just it, dropped it. it, it lost he just about, dropped it. Lost for about six on the play. Brings up second and call it 16, 15. Second and 15 coming up for the Hillers. So Brown takes it to the left. He gets a nice block, and he turns the corner down at a, out, out of bounds at around the 20, call it the 22-yard line. Oh, nice run. Picks up about seven, brings up third and about nine. Yeah, Nossett, they, that, that was probably the, their best defensive play against the run here so far. They kind of stretched that out, and Matt really didn't have anywhere to go with that ball. Well, if that's their best defensive play, they picked up seven on that. I hope they, uh, you know, for Nossett's sake, they can <laughs> do something oh, they better did. than that. Yeah. Oh, that's right. We were lost. I'm looking at third. <laughs> well, Mike's got me on the delay. Yeah, here. yeah you're all know. confused. I'm over here in the technicals. Why don't yeah. you know? I'll, I'll stop throwing with, a lot at me tonight, I'll stick Rick. with reality. You can go and play in the sandbox, okay? <laughs> and uh, a, nice job on the pass. a pass Please to Kelly, go. and I think he's going to be just short of the first down. Very he had to go down on his knees down. to get the ball. Yeah, he had a good wherewithal with where he was because you could see him. It was a low throw, so he, he had it was a it was a nice catch. Used his hands and then he kind of just turned and and dove. So he knew he was close. And uh, geez, I don't know, Rick. It's uh, that's okay. We're bringing out from well, they, they have to. This is not a, uh, a a synthetic field where the lines are perfect going across. I keep waiting for. Terosian to put up one of those yellow lines too on the broadcast. Oh, we could do that. that. So we nice. know the first down, and they use blue nice. now for the line of scrimmage. And first down, and he is going to be inches, inches. about six inches short. Okay. All right. Well, this you know this. The, the, it, you know, back in the day, you would not see uh, the quarterback underneath the, yeah. <laughs> underneath the center, no matter what it was. Yep. Uh, you know, Kelleher goes under center quite a bit now, so it wouldn't surprise me just to have a little sneak here right behind Cavallo. All right, so Kelleher comes in with the play, 4.23 to go. No this drive, I'm not going to say this is a key play, play in the game, but it is an important play of the game in the go. sense that a first down or a touchdown. Well, Nasa's got to kind of play a little desperate here. You know, you don't want to. And they hurried up to the line, so that it almost looks like they want to go for that quarterback sneak. And, and he sneak. looks like he's got it. Oh, yeah. there by the offensive line. That looks like it's going to be good for a Hiller So that'll bring up a first down and around the 12-yard line, 13-yard line. And I like the way that they kind of broke the huddle, sprinted to the line of scrimmage, really didn't get Noss at a lot of time to even set and what's going on there. They snapped it quickly, and uh, Kelleher was an, with an easy first down on the sneak. So four minutes to go in the second quarter. 
<laughs> long drive for the Hill. It's been a pretty methodical drive. Salyud's in motion. Oh, fumble! Fumble on the play! And uh, Hillers have it. Looks like it will remain Hiller ball. Is that uh, Brown? I don't know who came up with that. Yeah, it was. Well, it was Brown the, was running. But Brown I don't know was running. I'm not sure who came up with the uh, with the fumble, but um, Hillers were fortunate to get that ball back. So we'll call it a loss of one on the play, second and 11. Well, kind of unusual. A couple of fumbles on the... Yeah, that was just a, that was just a mishandle by Ryan. Uh, uh, Kelleher put it right in his gut, and it just kind of dropped it. Or is that Matt Brown? Or Matt Brown. Okay. And he's on the center. It's a quick pitch out to Brown, and nice spin move. And he's still on his feet. Probably still on his feet in that pile somewhere. Picks up maybe three on the play. No gain on the play. I thought he got some yards. It's going to be third and about 11. It's interesting here with um, with Luca out. I mean, we are kind of in field goal range here, Rick. It'll well, that's, be interesting. That's an interesting point. Yeah, he, I mean, he certainly could hit from inside. <coughs> yeah, he's got a booming leg. Um, so you kind of want to figure this would be two down territory. So Kelleher back to pass, a little heat, and he throws into the end zone. It's going to be over Kelly's. Over the head of Kelly, Brown. well covered by Joy in the corner of the end zone. Fourth down, coming up. One yeah, Brown three. threw a nice block there on the blitzing linebacker to give Ryan that extra couple seconds. Um, but Kelly, you know, they're trying to get a matchup down here, but uh, the throw wasn't there, but he was covered anyway. So it was probably good that Ryan kind of threw that away. And they're not going to go for the field goal here, Rick. They're going for it. For yeah, time. I mean, that makes sense. I, you know, if your normal kicker is yeah. not available, not that Kelly There's still no do gimme it. either. I mean, right. you know, this is high school. still a lot of things that have to happen right. So we'll call it fourth and a long ten. And two receivers to the left. Deloy is in the slot. And I would look for Deloy something going on here. And he throws it, and it's yes. caught. And touchdown. Caught by Kelly, Kelly just cut off his route and sat right down. at the goal line, and, and Keller threw a bullet, bullet right to him. Touchdown. Yeah. yeah, Kelly made a nice route. He used his he used his big frame there to just kind of block out the the, the cornerback, and uh, you know gave gave Ryan a big target, planted his foot, threw a nice ball, and uh, that's a big touchdown. So I would expect them to go for two. Yeah, that was a they, they I think that the Hillers knew that they had that play right off the bat. I mean, they knew that that was going to be open. Kelly Kelly did a nice job. He almost looked like he was like boxing out like he was in basketball. Yeah, he just turned it, cut it off right at the goal line and sat. Yep. And you know, Joy was with him. He just couldn't get through him. The Hiller offense staying out of the field looking for a two-point conversion. So a stack to the left. Brown in motion. I wonder if there's going to be no jet sweep. No. What do we got? We got a timeout, maybe? I hope so. It's the last thing you want is motion. Timeout. Okay, good. Yeah, you don't want any type of motion when you're going for two and make it even harder than it already is. No, I meant motion like a jet sweep motion, not um, not that the yeah, line I was doing anything. Yeah, I didn't th think anybody was moving there. All right, so with a 2.07 to go in the second quarter, the Hillers took a timeout to... Talk it over, going for two after the missed extra point after the first touchdown. Well, you know, I mean, the, this NASA team came in. They're averaging over 30 points a game, and, and Hopkinton is doing what they need to do to keep the ball out of that offense's hands. Um, I mean, this has been at least a, geez, this has been at least a five, six-minute drive. Well, but maybe at more least. than that, yeah. Um, and they're running the ball effectively. They're throwing the ball when they need to. You know, the Hillers can come out here and fling it around, too, or, you know, throw the ball 25 times, 30 times if they want to. But, you know, they're running the ball. They're taking time off the clock. The offensive line's doing a good job uh, controlling the line of scrimmage. And uh, let's see what they have here. Got the lawyer deep as, a, as uh, the uh, tailback. Like a, like a tailback with, I don't know who's to his right. It's, uh, not, it's Brown. not Brown. Brown's in motion now. It's the same play, and it's a pitch out pitch to DeLoya. And he cuts it up, and he's, and he he's got it. 
He's got it. So a two yard extra point. Little pitch to Deloya, cuts it up, and it's gonna be two points. Yeah, you had um, you had Mulvaney there going one way as the lead back, and the linebacker kind of stepped that way. Kelleher turned, threw it to Deloya. He made one step, one cut, and uh, had a good wherewithal as far as where the goal line was. That's a big two-point conversion, Rick. So as they come up field, the Hillers take the lead, 14 to nothing. Cheerleaders are doing their push-ups. Yeah, not not many yet, not many. 14. I would like to see you do a couple. Just I can do like it. I can it, knock them out. Uh, yeah, touch that. Huh? I can <laughs> knock them out. You want me to do them right now? <laughs> what did you got to do, man? <laughs> I can do them. I'm ready. If you I've got up, tendonitis now. Yeah, I'm retired tendonitis. from that kind of stuff. I, I have tendonitis. Uh, I, got, I have a torn rotator cuff, but it, it doesn't hurt to that do That would not stop you. It doesn't yeah, hurt man. to do push-ups. That's not the motion that, that hurts. So, you can hear the cars blaring over the loudspeaker as Kelly gets ready to kick. And Joy and I believe it's bent back to, ki uh, to receive. And a little pooch kick that's going to fall at the – oh, and he just takes it and goes down. Looks like number 88. Durkin Heinz. All right, I'm going to put on my glasses here. Deckian, Declan Heinz just gets it and drops somewhere around the 30-yard line. Yeah, I mean, you know, it was a pooch kick. Did it look like we had a bunch of guys trying to get that, though? You know? <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, they were. I'm sure they were. They didn't get close to it. I, you know, I like that deep kick, especially. I, you know, I don't like giving the ball here, at, you know, on the, you know, almost the uh, yard line. yeah, thirty-yard line here. So well, let's see what this NASA team has as far as passing. Um, you know, they're down two touchdowns. Now they're gonna have to start really trying to fling it. Well, number two, Tate Sidewind is really giving it everything. I mean, he's just limping all over the field. And it's a, a handoff, and he's going nowhere. Maybe pick. Get back to the line of scrimmage, maybe one. Ah, uh, yeah, if that. Um, who is that there? 55. That Stuckel kind of slanted in there and uh, had a tackle really for no gain. Excellent start. I don't know why you're running the ball here down two touchdowns, but who am I to say? And it's a quick throw. It's out to the flat. And it's tack on the 14. I can't see who the 22. 22 on the tackle would be. Brian Hurley and that's number 14 on the catch is Henry Blanchard. Yeah, it's Hurley is uh, he must be stepping in for Hamlet, I would guess. Yeah, he's the, plays that corner. Um, yeah. But he uh, that was a good tackle, and that's the kind of thing you need to do in the open field is you need to tackle. And Joy's back to pass. He's going to take it up the middle. No, he's going to get caught by number 74, Ben Powers. Just closed down from the end. Ben Powers. Yeah, all three of the defensive line there were kind of in there. You had the Doherty in the middle. You had Stuckel slanting over. And then Powers kind of came upfield, and then he just broke down. And that was, a, that was an excellent sack. So here we go. Yeah, a minute two. Brings they up. call timeout. They must call timeout. Oh, okay. Up fourth and six. The Hill is probably called yeah, timeout. Yeah, I would hope so. Well, yeah, let's put this game away early. Got the Red Sox starting in about 25 minutes, Rick. 8:09, game three. Out in 85 degree or 80 degrees. Is it 80 LA. degrees it's, out it's there? It's warm out there. I, I love it. I love LA. I can't stand it. I love LA, but I'm, you know, I'm obviously it's Red Sox. But <laughs> no, LA. no, I, I can't stand LA. <laughs> really? I just like uh, New York. I'm gonna show you where to go. Too many people. Just too many people. I was just in California last week. I don't like Which Cal part? I, I was San Jose. Well, it's not L.A. No, it's not. About 300 miles or so. And Joy gets off a kick. A nice roll out of bound at about the 35-yard line. He's lucky he did have that roll there. That was a looping snap. Um, yeah, they do not have a – No. I'm surprised we haven't gone after one Yeah, of I know. I know. Because you could get that. Because that, that, that snap took a long time to get to him. The rush almost got there. We really could, uh, could block one of these punts. Well, that might be the reason why – you know, you know, maybe just load up. You know, our left side of the defense just come get him because he's he's not going to roll left to kick. He's it. not going to roll left to kick it, right? Well, it'll be interesting to hear to see what uh, what Coach Sullivan and Coach Gerard do here offensively. I don't anticipate them playing it safe. I would think they would keep the uh, 
you know, the, the, the pedal down here and try and put up another score before the half. Well, two receivers to each side. It's spread out. It's just a quick hitch to DeLoya. And he breaks it out a little bit, and he's out of bounds at around the 47-yard line. Tackled by number 17, Captain Akira Labarge. Funny, I'll tell you what, DeLoya really um, has raised his game physically. He, uh, he is not shying away from contact these last few games at all. Uh, trips to the left, and Kelly's doing? back. And now he's, he's going to run, but he got closed in on the defensive end. Looks okay. by, by number 19, Aiden Hanville. That was what kind of? Yeah, I think he took off. It wasn't probably anything there. Looked like Powers. What kind of formation? Powers looked like he was looking for a screen pass over here. Kelleher's back to pass. He's looking. He's got Deloya breaking loose. And he threw his hand. Oh, he had it. He had it at the 10-yard line. It just couldn't pull it in. Yeah, that, that would have been a great catch if he would have had that. That was a very good throw. He, Luke was not that open. Um, he got a little bit behind him. Um, good pass, just a, just really a tough tough catch and wasn't able to pull it in. Number three, Robert Wright on the coverage. So 20 seconds to go, third and 10. Uh, you might want to try to get – they only have one timeout left, so it, it, they got to manage this a little bit. They're at the 47-yard line. Of the Warriors. They got two receivers to the left, and it looks like Deloya. He's going to try to run it for the keeper, but it's now it's going to bring up fourth and about five. And is this going to let it run now, I guess? And get one last play, maybe? I don't know. I'm not, I, I think they're going to call a timeout and throw, just throw one deep one. Yeah, I'm not uh, yeah, they last They must have off. seen something there to make them think that they could uh, run the ball. But well, maybe he's just trying to, you know, you get the first down, it stops for a second. And you line up and you get another play. But this way, they're just, okay, we didn't get it. Well, you, He'll I try mean, one last throw to the end zone or Kelleher, a ladder or something. Kelleher could certainly, um, obviously, he can reach the end zone here. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, you want to look at Kelly because he's got height. Um, we'll see if they uh, do some sort of thing uh, where it's like trips right and put Kelly out here, isolate him one on one. Um, I wouldn't say that this even ne necessarily needs to be a hail mary kind of situation because you could kind of run a, a hook and ladder kind yeah, of thing. Why not? Uh, the problem is you're gonna have Post. guys deep. You know I, they, those rarely work. Geez, you the Patriots game the other day they. The quarterback would have thrown it another yard. It would have been tied, uh, tied oh, ball game. It's just the Bears, the yeah. Bears game. I think the receiver's got to run one more yard. I think the well, the is. ball didn't get there. That was the problem. I think he was in the end zone. Had to come out was and get he? it. Which is interesting. He's got two backs back here, so somebody's going to flare out. They were Max just, protection. Yeah. Uh, a wobble. I don't think it's getting to the end zone. No, nope. through the hands of, uh, looked like Deloya jumped. But that'll be the end of the half as the Hillers go into the locker room up 14 to nothing against the Nauset Warriors. We will be back after the cheerleaders. We'll be back for the second half right after that. Yeah, stick with us. We'll have the cheerleaders and, uh, and then we'll be back after the second half. Great job by the Nauset Varsity Cheer Squad. And now we welcome onto the field the Hopkinton Hiller Varsity Cheer Squad.
Let's give a big round of applause for the Hopkinton High School Varsity Cheer Squad, led by Captain Lizzie Carp, Captain Katie Abbott, Senior Cassie Rizzo, Senior Abby Furlong, and Senior Benny Bazzi. Help your community to collect food for the project just because Hopkinton Food Pantry, the Scouting for Food Drive. Place food items for donation in plastic bags near your mailbox by 10 a.m. on Saturday. Some items the food pantry is in most need of include gift cards, canned meats, gluten-free foods, baking items, paper and cleaning products, and toiletries. If you wish to donate but don't have enough time to shop, you can donate online. Thank you for helping our local residents in need. Welcome, Hiller fans. Back to the second uh, second half where the Hillers are up 14 to nothing against the Nosset Warriors. Little recap here. Matt Brown in the first with a 27-yard run. 17 seconds left to go in the first quarter. Puts the Hillers up 6 to nothing after the missed extra point. And Kelly with a 12-yard pass from Kelleher at 207 of the second. The lawyer, the two-point conversion. And that brings us to 14 to nothing, Don, and the hill is looking pretty strong on both sides of the ball. Yeah, it's a, you couldn't ask for much, uh, a much better start here to the playoffs uh, with the Hillers with a two-touchdown lead and uh, getting the ball back here to start the second half. So, you know, there, there, if the Hillers could put together a drive and, uh, again, continue to take time off the clock and keep the ball out of Nossett's quarterback's hands, this game could be over here, Rick, after this first drive for, yeah, the, for yeah. the most part. Yeah, and, you know, what's different from uh, the playoffs uh, in last year, really, is that the teams that came here to the, the Hopkinton, they weren't very good offensively. They, they no. really couldn't throw the ball at all and had difficulty running. And uh, this quarterback here can throw, and it looks like, you know, he's got to have a few open guys here and there. So even down 21 to nothing, they still wouldn't necessarily be out of the game, but it's an awful big hill to climb. It would go a long way towards putting them out of the game, and kudos to the, the, to the Hopkinton defense to, uh, to keep them shut out, a team that averages 30 points a game. And it looks like Levy is back deep to receive the kickoff with uh, DeLoyer up and maybe Brown to the other side up at the, about the 20. So maybe they, they see something here that this kid doesn't have quite the leg. And I can't see the number. And he's just a little pooch kick, and it's caught by it's caught by number six, Brian Keefe, the sophomore. And he picked up a couple yards after the catch, and it brings it out at about the 30, we'll call it the 39-yard line, maybe the 40. Now that's a tough spot there for a sophomore kid. You know, he's on kickoff. He's expecting the ball to go over his head. He's trying to focus on who he's going to block. Next thing you know, he's, you know, catching a fly ball, and he's got the whole team barreling down on him. Keith did a nice job there of handling that and uh, securing the ball on the 40-yard line for the Hillers. So here we go. First drive of the second half. And they Kelleher just hands it off to Brown. And he's straight up the mound, and he almost got loose. Number nine on the tackle, Riley Bent. But Brown accelerated through the hole and almost got loose. Yeah, that was a nice burst uh, by Brown and a nice uh, nice hole by the offensive line. Number Was that number five, number nine? Who, number nine made number the tackle. Number nine, he was holding on with bloody fingers there. Um, kind of Brown was kind of carrying them for the last couple of yards. Well, it's the Halloween season, Don. A little blood here and there. All right, all right. I'm good. With, I'll tell you, I watched the movie It the other day. It, uh, <laughs> it's scary, the man. The only thing I know about I It like is it. the uh, cousin It. That's it. Uh, the Adams family. That's, that's about the Adams all I've family. Got. It was like a clown. It was scary. <laughs> and Brown again, and he not so successful this time. Picks up about two, maybe. Short gain there for 
Yeah, it looked like uh, the Noss had kind of shored up the defensive line there, um, but Brown was still able to get a couple yards. Yeah, it's interesting. We're, you know, I, I mean, I guess this is the game plan, which makes sense. You're going against an offense that averages 30 points a game. You know, you want to just kind of be meticulous in what you do running the ball, but um, it's interesting that we're running so much this game. And we've run, there's been games we've run the, the ball. The Ashland game we ran quite a bit. Yeah, yeah. So that brings up second and 10 with 9.45 to go in the third quarter. A little, tra little traffic directing here by uh, Kelleher. Putting DeLoya where he needs to be. And it's going to be a quick flare out quick to DeLoya. And he cuts it. And he's dipsy doing here and there. And he gets out around the 38-yard 30, the line maybe. And that's going to be a first down from my angle anyway. Yeah, that formation just kind of had uh, Luke hopping around there, and then uh, he settled in for the uh, quick little kind of type of screen pass, turned it up, and you know he he actually brings the you know brings the hit to the defender. He does not wait to be tackled. Uh, he kind of puts his shoulder down, moves his feet, and uh, gets that extra two three yards. Kelleher gives it to Brown, and he he cuts back to the left, and he picks up about four on the play. Yeah, the offensive line's doing a nice job here. I mean, you've got uh, you've got Ben Powers playing really well. You've got Stuckel at center. I'm sorry, uh, Cavallo at center and Stuckel at the left guard, and uh, they that was a nice nice job by them. Matt ran hard. You know, anytime you're getting five six yards on first down, Rick, that's a, that's a win. Yeah, so he picked up five, second and five. And crossing action, and and Brown takes it off the right. And he's going to pick up another first down. Just runs hard. Great running there again by Several Warriors Led on the tackle in the secondary. Does a great job just keeping his feet moving. You know, doesn't go down on the first contact. It really takes two, three guys to bring him down every time. And what's, what's odd about that is he's kind of an upright runner. Yeah, he's, he doesn't run low. Um, he's not a tall kid, but he is kind of, a, you're right, an upright runner. And uh, he's got good feet. Kelleher in the shotgun. Kelly up wide up. left. Uh, it's a read right almost, guard. and Kelleher doesn't get much. He gets Pretty pounded. Pretty good. Yeah, Kelleher just kind of pounded it up there. The uh, right guard and right tackle pulled. Um, got a little bit of push off the offensive line there, but really uh, that was some tough, uh, tough running by Ryan. Yeah, we'll give... Uh, Mikhail Labarge, the, the tackle on that, the linebacker. And that brings up second and about seven. 7.32 to go in the third. And again, they've taken, you know, we're getting into the four minutes of this drive, as you said, Don. And, and it looks like Brown, he, nice block. He gets down to about the seven yard line. And th and number three, Cole Salyards with a nice block leading the way. Yeah, Salyards to a nice block there. Also, you had uh, you had Tyler Doherty. Looks like he's getting a little action in the backfield. Um, he's got to be extremely excited about that. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he threw a nice block there from the fullback position. So it looks like they're going from a two back uh, two back formation here with Doherty as the other running back. Well, Tyler Doherty scored a touchdown last game, his first as a varsity player. Yeah, he did. They got him. And Brown, un almost, un well, I was going to say untouched, Very but it was a Brown nice tackle. Nice tackle, number 34, Miles Perry. I'm bending him around the two or three yard line. And so, I mean, they've been, they're trying to replace um, uh, Zach Frank, uh, who's been an effective blocker for them now for two years. I think he is out for the year. Um, with a knee injury or some sort of leg injury. So it looks like uh, Coach Gerard has brought Doherty in to kind of – and Mulvaney's, well, Mulvaney's been kind of like the running back. And he's he got almost he's in there he got right an now. eye formation behind DeLoya. And it's DeLoya straight up, and he's in. DeLoya in a – call it a two-yard touchdown run. Yeah, they had they had Luke uh, lined up in the fullback position there, and that was just a quick handoff kind of dive situation. And uh, Deloya was leaning forward the whole time. Nasset had no chance there. So we're gonna go for the extra point at 6:17 of the third quarter. 
the lawyer, a two yard run. Brings us to 20 to nothing. Kelly with the hold by Kelleher. And it's, it looks good, but I thought the last one looked good too. Good. All right, so that brings us to 21 to nothing with 6.17 to go in the third quarter. And Don, I'd hate to call you a genius, but you just kind of scripted what should have just happened. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I, I actually, you might be the first person to ever call me. <laughs> well, I a said, genius, I hate right? to call you that. Yeah. I, mean, I, I just, something a lot else of escaped do. my mind. I, you know, a lot I just of people come do. Up with something else. Um, no, I mean, that, that you could not ask for, you know, you go into halftime up 14 nothing. Gerard's in there with the X's and O's and the big speech and whatever. You could not <laughs> ask for a better start to the second half. I mean, that's exactly what you wanted the Hillers to do. Take the opening kickoff, march down, and get a three-touchdown lead. And that's exactly what they did. So that brings us back up field. Kelly will kick off from the 40. And the Warriors have their work cut off for them. Well, you would figure it would be a steady dose of uh, a lot of uh, a lot of passing here by Nossett. So, um, you know, I think the Hillers will continue to do what they do. The, you know, the defensive line has been able to get pressure on the quarterback without a lot of blitzing, which means we're able to drop as many people as we need to into coverage and uh, and really make it difficult for them to, to complete passes. And it's a deep kick. It's going to be bent with the reception, and he kind of stops. Very he was coming across the field, and he, all, he stopped almost as if he wanted to cut back, but then he had to cover up and got, got hit pretty hard. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of the last thing you want to be doing is stopping, and you're kind of a um, sitting duck there, and the, uh, the Hiller kick coverage converged um, quickly. Um, you know, the Hillers normally will play on that kick coverage, mostly defensive starters. So they don't give up a lot of yardage normally on that uh, on a kickoff return. So it brings up first and 10 for Nossett at the 24-yard line. And it must have been 12 men coming out of the huddle because we got a flag right away. Is that our first flag tonight? No. but You sure? Yeah. Was there another one? That's it, the first one. No, there was a – hold on. No, the, the gentleman here saying first, flag? first one. I thought yeah, it was the second thought. flag. No. Nope. That's good. That's good to see. I like that. It had to be 12 men. I didn't see the call. But. I mean, after watching the NFL, you know, this yeah. is a joy to watch. <laughs> well, it's cold out there. They might not want to reach in. <laughs> well, yeah, again, the Red Sox. Yeah, you know, yeah, we're midway through the first first inning here. Keep the keep the clock Dallas running. Up, actually. Got zero zero. Well, those on the uh, on YouTube and the live stream, they've, they've got us on the computer, but uh, the Sox on the big screen. He's going to try to run it, and this isn't really going to do much. Nice run, nice hard run. That picks up the penalty yard, as it looks like. And it's going to be number four in the carry, Will Van Vleck. So it brings up second and about 11. Hiller's, uh, Hiller's still rotating um, quite a bit on defense. They got defensive linemen coming in and out. You got number uh, 28 coming in there, Eric Davis. Um, and we're going to have uh, two receivers to each side for Joy. 5.25 to go in the third. A little motion, end up with trips to the right side. He, he looks the other way, and Doherty's in his face right out of the gate. And it's a, a, a pass that looks like it was caught, but only for a couple of yards by number 14. Henry Blanchard, but Doherty broke that up early, Don. Yeah, he, they tried to cut block him. He kind of hurdled it, and um, and all, you had Ben Powers in there also. That quarterback did a nice job just getting rid of that ball, and it was surprised he even was able to complete it for a three-yard gain because the Hillers were on him quickly. So that brings up third and about eight. Brown back into the – as he – Switch him in for Powers. Pillar defense looking once again for a big third down stop. Deep so you get uh, territory. two receivers each side. Motion going to bring trips to the right again. Same formation. Joy back to pass. And Doherty's there again. And, and broken up by Ty Scanlon on the breakup. But that, that play was blown up again by Doherty. He just 
Kind of getting in the face of the quarterback. Well, he, you know, he fires off the ball quick. Again, he's got that quick first step, which is hard to defend. And then you had Brown coming off, it uh, looks like, from his defensive end position, putting pressure on. Scanlon had him covered out here. And, uh, you know, this is uh, the Hillers have handled Dossett's offense thus far with no problem. So, going to be a, a kick from the 20. They're at about the 26 yard line. It's a looping snap. Australian football kind of kick as it rolls down about the 39 yard line. Not a bad kick by Joy. And they'll start again, the Hillers at the 39 yard line, their own 39 yard line. Yeah, I'll tell you, that's. <laughs> That snap is that's a that's a looper. Yeah, I uh, I think that could come back and haunt him if it ever. I don't know if it's going to matter after this game or not, but um, that 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 snap uh, leaves a lot to be desired. <laughs> well, I mean, it's you know you have what you have at the high school level, right? I mean, sure, it's not usually, an easy thing to no, do. No, it's and, not. But that that's of the uh, you know compared to an extra point or a field goal, that's easier to do the the punt. Kelleher hands off to Mulvaney, and he right breaks out to the right side. Good picks up there. about, still going, picks Great up about eight. Picks up about eight, and that brings him out to about the 47-yard line. Yeah, you, um, you know, you, you, as the game goes and as the season progresses, it's interesting to see what kids kind of step up as far as younger kids. Um, and Mulvaney, he's a sophomore. He got a little bit of playing time. Uh, I think he came into the Holliston game. Um, and he's gotten some carries here, and it looks like he can run pretty hard. Well, we got him for 25 carries, 147 yards, 5.9 yard average. All right, not bad. Br this is Brown, a little, Brown little shake and bake, and he gets the first down, and he brings it out to about midfield. So at the 320 mark of the third quarter, Brown picks up the first down, running hard. So now with, um, you know, three minutes left in the third quarter, Rick, I, I'd be surprised if we you see too many passes here um, by the Hillers. They're just going to want to kind of grind this out, stay healthy for uh, for next week, which I guess we had an update. We had Westwood winning against Mil Milton. Now, last I heard, it was 15 to nothing at half. Uh, no, we got a live score here, 13 to 6. Uh, Westwood is beating Milton in the third quarter. Oh, so the 15 to nothing was wrong. It must have been 13 to nothing at the time. So a it's crossing the, action here, and I don't know if that's Brown, but nothing doing. So if, if, if Westwood can uh, hold on here, that means that uh, we'll have another home game here next Friday. Um, yeah, at the number three seed, against, we'll host yeah, the number seven seed. Yeah, we'll host Westwood. And so that'll be excellent. Do we know who's the number one seed in the Division Four South? Titan Rehoboth, the number one seed. They're playing tonight as well. They're, They're playing, playing Pembroke. Pembroke. Those are those schools. That I don't care where you are. You can't get there from here. It's tough to get into that part of the state. Dighton Rehobo, 31 to 6. And uh, so Brown coming up to the left, and he cuts it up, and he's ridden from behind, number 54. And Jake's Paravicini. On the tackle as he cowboys up on uh, Brown and brings him down at about the 49-yard line of the Warriors. Uh, yeah, Nosset is kind of selling out on the run here. So if you really want to put a, uh, a dagger here, you might run an easy play action, throw it over the top, whether it's Kelly, De Deloya, whatever. But they're selling out trying to stop this run for, the, for Hopkinton. So it brings up third and nine, and they're running a lot of clock. 125 to go in the third. Oh, really? Yeah, it comes in tight. And it's a, f a fake, and he's got Kelly. Nope, he's going to drop it low. Oh, it must have been some pressure by number 17, Mikhail Labarge. But Salyards uh, was open in the flat, and he just missed him, but I think there was a heavy pressure, Don. Yeah, yeah, they got in on Ryan there. He kind of ran a play action. Uh, Salyards was wide open. Um, Kelleher uncharacteristically, uh, you know, threw it at his feet. Um, he was pressured there. It looked like he took a pretty good hit, but came out of it just fine. Easy for us to say. Yeah. Right? I don't I mean, think it's cold out there, Don. Can't get I, I don't even want to I don't even want to walk into a car, never mind. You know. Those days are over, Those right? Those days are over. Oh, and it's gonna be a nice roll as powers get out of the way, but it's gonna die around the fifteen yard line. 
Where if there's anything's going to happen for uh, Nosset, they're going to have to do it now. Yeah, yeah. They, you know, here we are. They're inside their own 15-yard uh, line. Um, they're going to try. They haven't really been able to put any pressure at all on the uh, on the Hopkinton defense. They haven't had too many first downs even. What's that? No, that's true. Yeah, we got our first responders uh, down in the end zone there. Are they helping anybody, or are they down there watching the game? They're down there watching the okay. game, but they're I, I want to make sure this, you know, we're okay. ready to jump in action. <laughs> Is Mr. Doyle down there? I've seen Mr. Doyle down oh, there. He's see, not here I, today. I, I see Mr. Uh, Mr. Terosian with his badge on. Yeah, ah, he's working. Right, Scott, he's, Scott, he's, he's, he's multi. And it's tipped and still caught though. Nice catch. The ball was tipped, number 14, I believe, Henry Blanchard with the catch. I don't know who got it, but the ball was thrown hard and deflected and caught. Pick up about six, call it second and four. Yeah, they don't seem to, I don't know, maybe their deep threat is the kid that's been limping, but they don't seem to have any desire or any ability to kind of stretch the field here. Well, that kid, when he when he caught the ball and ran, looked like this he might have had still yeah, limping I know he is. And he, he looked like he had some speed when he had the ball. But I don't know what he can do. He's doing that. And the running back gets out, and you know Hillis will let you run all day long at this point. Oh, yeah. You, know, you want to keep five, uh, five yards at a time? Do it. You're only going to get the ball two, three times more. So it brings up a first down, and Noss it at the 29-yard line. Ten seconds, though. There will be no other play, I guess, in the third quarter. We'll... Looks like Noss is just going to let it run out. Oh, it'll be interesting to see what kind of urgency that Noss kind of kind of plays with here. I mean, it's in the fourth quarter, so you know you got your season on the line here. Um, you know, to me, if it was me, I wouldn't even be huddling. I'd be, you know, going to the ball. You'd have two. You're in your hurry-up offense for the start of the fourth quarter. But um, sometimes that doesn't happen at the high school level, so we'll see. We'll see. Uh, you know, I, it's getting chillier and chillier, and I know it's only going to get colder as the season goes on. But, man, my, my uh, appreciation to John Ritz and Denise Antaki doing the hard work outside in the cold. Good thing there's no wind, but it's cold out there. Yeah, it'll be windy and rainy tomorrow. Got the cheerleaders down there. They just uh, – they just had a nice finish in one of their tournaments here, coached by Ashley Pellucci. And we have the the senior cheerleaders. Uh, if I have that somewhere here, because they, um, Lizzie Karp, Cassie Rizzo, Katie Abbott, Abigail Forlong, and Benedetta Bazzi, the seniors that will be departing this year. Good it's luck always, to them, or whatever they're going to be doing in the future. I'll tell you, it's always, uh, you know, bittersweet here, senior night. Um, and it's kind of tough with the playoffs. You're not really sure when your last game's going to be. You know, we're not going to be playing here on Thanksgiving for sure. Um, so they had it tonight. It's always bittersweet. So first and 10 from the, looks like the 27. Joy throws, tipped again and caught again. I wonder if that's in their playbook. Number 14, Henry Blanchard cutting across the middle. They must practice that. It seems like it's part of the uh, part of the game plan. <laughs> I don't know. Tip drill. They probably end practice with it. But they, uh, you know, it's good concentration by the uh, by the the Nosset receiver there. I'm not sure who's tipping these balls though. Is that is either he's got to get taller or he's I don't know if get it's more of the ball. Cavallo or Stuckel there at the nose tackle. Well, that one was in the middle. I don't know if the other one was in the, the other one was going to the outside, so it could have been the same, could have been different. Joy hands it off. It uh, looks like number 17. Great job there. Labage on the carry and, and Deloyer on, on the tackle. Yeah, the Hillers are, you know, maintaining their physical presence along the defensive line. The front seven's playing very tough. Not a lot of push by Nossett there and yeah, again, I don't know. I don't know why you're running the ball down three touchdowns, but what do, what do I know? What do you know? All right, so second and about seven, and Joy's going to throw, and he dumps it off to number six. Falls incomplete. Ethan still number twenty-five on the on the on the coverage, being Zach Levy. And I'm not sure if that was um, 
uh, it was a play action, but uh, it, it, whether they were trying to set up some type of screen, because there was nobody running. There was no deep patterns there at all. I mean, there was no, everybody was covered. It looked like they were coming at us and still was uh, on the other side alone. Henry Blanchard wide left here in front of us. Third, and he fakes it, and it's a quick pass, and it's out of the hands. Her had a chance at it, but it, it really bounced off the hands of the intended receiver. Looks like number 19, Aiden Hanville. Yeah, that was another type of kind of a play action. He was open, although the quarterback kind of threw it behind him. It tipped. Karen almost had it. Landed uh, uh, for now we got a fourth down here. So yeah, 940 to go punting? in the fourth quarter. It looks like they're, they're in punt formation, but the quarterback Warner is the. Uh, All right, so now you got to just blitz, his, blitz the left side here, man. And a little floater, and Deloya is coming up, and he catches it, and he comes to the outside. He cuts it back up, and he's getting to the corner. And nice block. Terrific block and a tackle by by num a number three, Robert Wright on the tackle. Deloya down at the about the 40-yard line, but what a block it was over here down yeah, around the 45. Yeah, Brown had a nice um, borderline crack back block, but that was an excellent block. And they also had a nice block up here, too when uh, Luke... Uh, on the up man, on, yeah, number, on, the up on man number 14, there. yeah. Yeah, I think it was, it's hard to see what his number was. There's the block right there. It took out two guys. But you're right, it was borderline. I mean, in who fact, knows? They, in fact, they don't allow those anymore. Not in the, the NFL, levels. that could have Even in college, been. they don't let them no. on the blind side. You can't right. do that. <laughs> and Brown going off the left, cuts it back up, and he's, wow, he's hit hard once he made the cut. You know, one thing that Brown does a good job of, I mean, he just, you know, he doesn't do too many moves. He sees his hole, plants his foot, and turns it upfield. Yeah, I mean, that's uh, it's a sign of a tough runner. Yeah, North I mean, you see, see a lot of backs that will sit there and they'll bounce around and whatnot. He just kind of makes his decision and uh, takes it upfield for positive yardage. So the big return really takes a little wind out of the sail of Nossett. And when you start at your – at the opponent 40-yard line. Well, I don't know what they expected. I mean, they're down three touchdowns. You're punting the ball. I mean, you've got the white flag up anyway, so. And this time Kelleher jumps up the middle, and he's great through, through the middle, touchdown. and he's going to get there. And that is a a 35-yard touchdown as Kelleher just took it right up the middle, jumped over somebody, and then broke a tackle and off to the races for 35 yards. Yeah, I mean, Ryan's got that senior night hop in. I mean, he's, yeah, it's the <laughs> second time I've seen him kind of leave his feet for uh, and jump over a, a defender, which is, you know, normally you don't want to see, uh, you don't want to leave your feet because you're putting yourself in a dangerous situation. But Ryan did a nice job, had a nice burst, and it wasn't even close. There was nobody close to him. This game's over, Rick. I think so. And the kick is, we'll call it good. And it's going to be 29, 28 to nothing, 8.29 in the fourth quarter. And that pretty much takes the wind out of the sail of the, no pun intended, in the Cape, the Nauset <laughs> Warriors. And, uh, yeah, Don, I mean, that's, you know, what are you going to do? That's complimentary football, right? You, you have a nice, uh, we'll call it a 30-yard a return on the punt. You know, a few plays later, you're in the end zone and, I guess we can put the nail in the coffin. Yeah, I mean it's. Uh, I mean Hopkinton has had a great game plan here. They have taken it to um, to Nossett right off the. You know they've controlled the ball. They've kept Nossett's offense off the off the line of scrim or off the field, and uh, and, and the, you know efficiently they've, they've moved the ball very efficiently offensively, both through the air and mostly on the ground. I thought John Denver came at the end of the game. This must be signaling the end of the game. Yeah. Brian must feel like the game's over, and uh, Brian's just trying to move things along. Yeah, here. he wants to get to see a Red Sox he's just game. To, Maybe he's just trying to move things out. along. <laughs> hey, I'll tell you one thing, you guys. Now you got twenty-eight nothing. So now you're looking. Okay, you, you know, are they going to start putting some? Oh, that's a oh good kick. He, that has to this get the end better zone show or some in trouble. Urgency here. Oh, he kidding? That's Joy, Ooh. and he gets caught from behind, and uh, uh, yeah, that's horse, a horse collar tackle. Caller. 
Uh, did he grab him by his? He grabbed him from behind. I don't he definitely know grabbed him from behind, but I thought he grabbed him by his shoulder pads there. I'm not sure. You, I don't think that matters, though. I don't think it matters. But that, uh, everybody, the whole blocking left, and Joy was, thought it was going to get to the end zone, and uh-oh, uh yeah, it's not going to. That's tough there. I don't know. I don't know. He grabbed them from behind. I don't. It wasn't a horse claw where he grabbed them from no, the I don't shoulder think, pads. I don't think you necessarily have to get in there. Yeah. It's pulling him from behind, and you want to eliminate that. It's one so of now those we got safety calls. <laughs> we got eight minutes left here. Um, you know, this you want to watch to see if they try and get some backups in here. But the problem with putting a backup in now is he's been standing over here freezing. So it, it's difficult to throw kids in there cold. Oh. You know, I would think that uh, the quarterback's over here, the backup quarterback's over here uh, warming up a little bit. But I'll tell you what. It looks like Bobby Bernardin is getting, yeah. taking a few snaps. I'll tell you what, if you're in the twos, you better be uh, doing some stretching here because you could find yourself out there. And if you're cold, uh, it's going to be a tough situation. Well, I see Aiden Moore doing a few stretches here. Like, he might be thinking they better, about The twos better start getting warmed up. If they're going to go in, it's going to. we got the uh, back judge doing a few stretches. He's cold out there. <laughs> And here we are, we're back to John Denver, man. Brian wants out. He wants to, everybody running the ball. No passes, nobody going out of bounds. All right, so they start first and 10 around the 20 yard line. And I lost them. Looks like maybe about uh, three or four on the carry. Number 17, we carry Labarge. Got a top second, uh, Red Sox are 0-0. Uh, zero, zero. Okay. Two outs in the second. They're still 13-7 Westwood, so. Um, must be late. In the, it must be in the fourth quarter somewhere, I'm guessing, Red right? Red Sox tied 0-0 zero, zero in the second. And Westwood is on top, Milton, 14-7. So, it'll be third and about six or seven on the on the call here. Joy is, he hands it off to Labarge, and he tries to come to the outside, but he's short of the first down by about a yard, it looks like. Don't understand. Well, you know, at this, at this point, you might want to be just getting on. You know, oh, he, he, on gave him, he gave him the, I thought it looked short of the first down to me, but okay, I can't see in this corner here, or not the corner, but the sideline. Nasset does not look like they have really – Big numbers over there on that sideline. No, if you, if you look at the roster, kind of, <laughs> you know, they don't have and they don't have many linemen. They, they don't have many numbers in the 50s through the 70s. That's they don't have uh, a lot of kids all together. I no, mean, it looks they like don't. They only got 20. That looks like a Pop Warner team. Oh, well, they got 11. They got 11 here, and they got what nine, eight. And, uh, well, they they have um, they have a lot of skilled juniors on the team, so we may see them, you know, again next year. And first down catch by Aiden Hanville, her on the tackle. Looks like he's going to prevent the first down conversion. Yeah, her closed on that very quickly, put a nice solid hit. Are they giving him? No, they're not no, giving him the first, the first down. Okay, down. They could. Um, you know, they, again, this kid can throw the ball. Yep. And they look like they have some guys that can catch it. They just have not been able to put it together. The Hiller defense has played tough. And, uh, like you know, when they do catch the ball, the Hillers put a hit on them just like they did right there. Well, this doesn't even look close, really, but I guess he just wants to – maybe the coach just wants another timeout. Yeah, a little closer than I thought it was. Yeah, maybe almost a foot, I guess, or about a foot. 6.40 to go in the fourth quarter. And we'll call it second and – we'll call it second and one, but it's very short. Anyway, at this point, at this point, you want to get out healthy, Don. Yeah, and, that's what uh, I'm saying. But I, I don't see, I don't see uh, Gerard making too many subs again because of the cold thing. Yeah. You know, you, it's not, it's not, it's not good to put a you know a cold player that's been standing there on the sidelines to get him out there to play. It's they're they're young; they don't even know they're cold. <laughs> oh yeah! Oh, oh nice head. tackle by Doherty. He blows it up. And a second, Excellent. a second and inches turns into a third and, well, we'll call it third and five. Number four, Will 
Van Vleck really blown up by Doherty. Yeah, Doherty, again, he's playing a heck of a game tonight. Uh, looks like he split the, uh, both blockers. Really just, I don't know if he's like, he, you know, he gets off the ball quickly, but it's almost like he's just jumping the snap there. He was in the backfield before he even got the ball. Uh, we do have an update from Milton. Uh, Milton has pulled ahead 14 to 13 late in the uh, late in the game, fourth quarter. So it's a, a fake and Joy. Oh, Joy gets loose. He hops through. He went to the Kelleher School of Running. He's getting down the side. It cuts into the middle. He's down to about the 10 yard line. Joy. Uh, about a 50 yard run. And Scanlon on the tackle, he, like he kept, uh, he had him boxed in for a little bit and he got behind him and then forced him back to the sideline again, Don, but he gets down to about the 10. I mean, you know, this kid came as advertised. Did you say he was a junior? He's a junior, junior, yeah. He's come out as advertised. I mean, he could throw the ball, and that was an excellent run there. Um, you know, uh, Scanlon, was that, who was that number 20? Is that Scanlon? I thought it was. Yeah, uh, Scanlon yeah. did a nice job staying with him and making the tackle there. That's a little bit, uh, a little bit uh, too late. Too little, too late for too him. Too little, too late. Yeah, I mean, they they might get on the board here, but this, uh, it's over. But he, uh, he took the little hop over the uh, defender like Kelleher had been doing tonight. <laughs> Must be a quarterback thing. I don't know. I, it drives me crazy <laughs> if I was a coach. You don't want to see well, that. Well, it's not a jump. It's just kind of. You know, he hesitates, throws, and it, it was uh, knocked down by Deloya. No, I can't see the number, Don. I don't think it was. Yeah, it was the uh, her. Maybe could have been her. I don't know. I don't know, but I thought they. I thought he kind of could have called him for coming over the back there. They didn't throw it, so. So an even five. They at the eleven yard line. They don't have to score. They can get to the inside the one, or inside the two. Oh, Salyards that came oh, in there. Salyards, oh, the, yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of single digit numbers down there and I can't can't see. But it look did it look a little early though? Did it look live a little yeah, it early? Could, it, it could have been. It could have been called, but it wasn't, which is which is cool. Joy in the shotgun. And Oh, number four takes a big hit. Number four. Will Van Vleck. Took a big hit by it looked like Deloya might have cleaned him up, but Doherty had him by the feet. Yeah, he had Doherty, he had Butello, and then uh, and Deloya came in there to finish it off. So, you know, I mean, you want to keep him off the board. I mean, anytime you have a chance to get a shutout, you might as well go for it. Yeah, that's exactly what we're doing here. Let's, uh, let's keep him off the board. Uh, this, this poor guy, Tate Seedwan, he, he's just – his ankle's going to fall off. And a, a high throw, and he's – Great job by Brian Hurley. He no, that was, I think that was Scanlon in the, the whole way into the end zone. Yeah, 22. Job, Brian Hurley with 22, the coverage. And uh, that ball was thrown not deep enough to get into the corner. No, that wasn't that wasn't any. I mean, Hurley had him covered. Would have taken a high throw. He, he needed to throw it a little bit higher. It was not a good throw in Hurley. That was an easy breakup. This is it. Fourth down for the Nasa Warriors. So 4.20 to go in the fourth quarter. It's a fourth and 10 from about the 11. Oh, it's fourth and 12. Well, I'm sorry, fourth and about nine. Fourth down coming up. They can get a first down inside the two. Big defensive stand for the Hellers. They have motion with, I look a little confused actually. And he faces, he's rolling, but he's gonna get chased by Brown. He, down. Matt Brown just came off the edge and, and tracked down Joy, and he just had Matt no chance. Field, yeah, Matt Brown came in from down. his defensive end spot. Almost looked like he was unblocked, and uh, he had a nice burst. Joy had no chance there. In fact, he was lucky that that wasn't even a fumble. They called that an incomplete pass. No, he was. He did throw the ball, but he was. He, he was lucky he, to get well, it he, off. He stiffed on just uh, enough to get the ball off. You know, it's interesting because they had Brown at the free safety position for most of the most of the year. After the Halston game, they kind of switched it up a little bit and put him um, at, at his defensive end position, which is what he played mostly last year. And he's made some impact plays since being moved there. So a new quarterback comes in. Bernardin comes in, and they got a, a few other numbers in there. Look. 23, Drew Nealon in the slot. 
Oh, and yeah. we have, could have been either one. I don't know who got drawn off. Number 56, unfortunately. Might want to call Lucas that Lucas Moynihan. Defense. Yeah, I don't know which it was. Nope. No. Nope. Offensive. That's not the way you want to show up in the film, Don. <laughs> no. No, I think that uh, I think Coach Gerard will take it easy on him, though, with a 28-point lead. Um, but, you know, you don't want to have any turnovers here. You want to play it clean, uh, at least for three downs, and maybe boot it out of here if you don't get a first down. I don't see uh, Hopkinton putting it in the air at all. I can't imagine they would. Bernard hands it off. and. the left sideline, Cam Mulvaney. Great running there. Mulvaney well, takes it to about. He gets out the, wide, and he's run. out of bounds right. somewhere right. around the 15-yard line. Yeah, they Mulvaney. kept him. They kept him in bounds. though, kept the clock running, which is good. That's key. Well, it's only the third inning. We got to get someplace. Might even be the second inning still. After the good strong running by the sophomore, second and a manageable five as we approach three so, and a half left to go in the game. Second and five. Bernardin, two backs to either side, and it's a handoff to Mulvaney. Oh, no, Straight up the out. middle, and he's going to, oh, oh, a saving God. tackle by number five. Is that Bobby Joy that made the tackle? No, number 15, Ethan Lucy. Ethan Lucy just caught him by the Boy. by the shoe top, and he nice stumbled out of there. That was, that was a nice run to begin with, but I'll tell you, Mulvaney, that would have been a – that would have been great for him to be able to break that. But that was, a, that was an excellent effort, and kudos to the Nosset kid for not giving up and, you know, just diving and, and selling out trying to make that uh, touchdown-saving tackle. Well, there's no quit, right? Well, it's good to see. Doesn't matter. Timeout, Hopkinton, as they make some wholesale changes on the line. Now that they're out of danger, they've cleared the end zone. or at about the 40-yard line, 38-yard line, we'll call it. Yeah, that was a big first down there. Now you kind of, kind of in the middle of the field here. You just do your thing and grind it out. So, pending the score of the Westwood game, which was 14 to 13 in the fourth quarter, uh, at the moment it's an away game at Milton next Friday. Oh, fumble on the play, and never really made it to the ground, but he probably lost about one on the play on the fumble. That oh, was a quick pitch, and it just it was just a little bit uh, mishandled there. Don, I've had those gloves on that they have today. They, nothing falls out of those. Hands, yeah, I'll tell yeah. You that. It's like built-in stick. I mean, it sticks right, right there. And so, uh, Mulvaney kind of cuts it in, nothing doing. Good cut there about Mulvaney, but he's we'll say he, whole defensive line. he picks up about, so if the score about two, up, a plethora of Nosset Warriors on the bring up a rematch tackle. The yeah, I'll tell you, I like uh, number 15, Young game. Wang, uh, for the Hillers. I'm liking his uh, his swag here. He's got some, got some cool looking uh, orange shoes down here throwing some downfield blocks. He's a senior, a getting the most out of his playing time. Bernard and nobody, oh, there's one, and Mulvaney, and he's going to cut the sideline, and he's, he's, he, he's out at around the 35-yard line. Nice run by Mulvaney as he got the corner. And the clock stops at 135 as he's out of bounds at the 35. You know, that could have been a horse collar situation there. They kind of dragged him uh, from behind. Um, but he, uh, you know, Mulvaney's running hard. And, you know, with Brown as a senior here, it's good to see they got another kid coming through the, uh, coming through the ranks. So what do we have? The most recent update was Milton down now, 16 to 14? 16 to 14. Yeah, so field goal by Westwood. Mulvaney well, runs the ball and he gets out of the. Oh no, it was a. It was a I'm sorry, it was a fake to Mulvaney, and Bernardin kept it around the right side. Picks up about, we'll call it six on the play. If the Westwood score holds, as they are the number seven.
seventh seed. That would bring up another home game next weekend. So I, I guess maybe we won't know by the end of this broadcast. But uh, check the MIAA website, the official website. It'll give well, that, you. That would be big if, if, if the Hillers could get a home game against a team they've already beaten instead of having to go down to Milton. And Mulvaney turns it up. He gets loose. And he's down around the 20-yard line. Yeah, this kid wants to get in the end zone. <laughs> he certainly he's, does. He wants to get in the end zone bad. Yeah. Well, he's running hard, right? I mean, keep the feet churning. Yeah, this, uh, this looks like it could be the last play. Yeah. As the yeah. clock ticks down, we'll wrap up this game. Might not even they may not it. even get the playoff, nope. but uh, looks like it looks Ryan like it's going to end up 28 to nothing. Matt Brown, 27-yard run in the first, and made it 6 to nothing. Kelly from Kelleher, 207, 12-yard pass, two points from DeLoyer at 207 of the second, made it 14 to nothing. In the third, DeLoyer, two-yard run, 21 to nothing. And in the fourth, Kelleher, a 38-yard run, the extra point, making it 28 to nothing. A pretty strong showing on both sides of the ball, Don, for the Hillers. Special teams were excellent. A couple of kickoffs that kept the... The war is deep, and uh, I guess we just have to wait to see how it plays out to see where we are next week. Yeah, I mean, the Hillers uh, were very solid on all, you know, offensively, defensively, and on special teams. Excellent start to the playoff run here, and uh, yeah, we'll see what we got. I mean, that would be huge to, to see Westwood come in here. Um, and But you know what? If the Hillers have to go to Milton, I don't think they're going to be intimidated at all. They'll be ready. So let's just see how this all plays out. Okay. Excellent effort here by the Hillers. Let's see what happens. Uh, for everyone on HCAM, on the cameras, John Ritz, Denise Antaki taking the cold weather. Producer-director Mike Tarosian, he's Dandy Don Lehman. I'm Rick Desina. We'll see you next week.